Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to the channel, Rye. We've done all our blackcurrant rye bean and wine. In the last video we've done the finings, we filtered it and we degassed it. In this video we're going to be filtering it one more time. We'll be bottling it up in these bottles and we're going to be corking it. So let's crack on with that and let's get this done. In here I've got some starsa. So let's put that in there for a second. Let's put our wine in, our wine in, <laughs> our siphon hose in. Okay, let's push that down. Let's get our siphon in. We've got a brand new pack of corks here. These are from Wilkinson's. Now, hopefully, we'll be getting six bottles of wine out of this. So, all we're going to use are six corks but I'm going to put them in here two three four five and lucky number six in here I'm going to put some hot water well boiling up water to be precise because this is going to make our corks more subtle supple and it's going to be easier for getting them in the box. God, what is the matter with me today? In the box? In the bottle? <laughs> right. These wine bottles, these are also from Wilco's. I keep calling it Wilkinson's, don't I? That's what it used to be called. It is called Wilco now. Don't ask me why they changed the name. Because, I don't know. I mean, this is easy to bust, but... I don't want to pull it too hard because I'm a bit khaki handed and I can see these going bloody everywhere myself. Right, we're going to fill up these bottles of wine, these empty wine bottles I should say. Fucking, I've, I've got to get it together man, I've got to get it together. Oh, do you know what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill, I'm going to put these in the in here in the star sun get them sanitized and i think we'll take it from there folks so we should be back in a second right then folks we've had this in our star sun for about 15 minutes now so i want to drain it off get all our gear out and start this bottle in so i'm not going to waste all the star sun i've got another bucket just down here we're going to drain some of it off into there while we're getting this lot out. Oh. And you might have noticed there's quite a bit of foam in these bottles. Don't fear the foam, so the star sun. It is food grade. Um, so it means you can use it without rinsing it. It's a food grade uh, sanitizer, I should have uh, said. Okay. Right then, I'm going to carry on doing all this, so we'll be right back. Okay then, folks, so we've got all of our stuff ready. It's nice and clean, everything is sanitised that we want sanitised. So, let's get our little filter set up. Now, this has had the findings in it for the last three days. It's, I've raised the temperature of this, it's, between, it's been between 24 and 26 degrees Celsius. So, I think it's all ready now, that is. Cheers, folks. <sighs> Lovely juggler. Well, it's ready for bottling anyway. Get that in there. Now, this has been in this demijohn for six weeks now, this has. So, it's completely fermented out. If you haven't watched the other videos, go back and watch them on how we made it, 
all the filtering, all the finings and the degassing, the videos are all on there. What we're doing with this one is, we're going to come down the edge of the demijohn until we reach the bottom. You, you might see right there at the bottom, there is a little bit of sediment, it's about probably that much. This has been filtered now three times, this will be the fourth filtering of it. I can smell the wine going in here and it does smell very nice. So let's have another loving slurp. This is Henry Weston cider, this is, um, I've done a beer review on it, so if you haven't seen that one, check that one out as well folks. And this is a lovely pond. Beautiful. Okay, got to watch this now because we uh, we don't want any cock ups. Right, let's tilt that so we can see. Okay. Now, I am watching this and not talking for obvious reasons. I'm just trying to concentrate on what's going on here. Oh, come on. Come on. Flow me, baby. Okay. Okay, how far down, yeah, you see, the problem I've got is, this is going down to there, and it's only just above the wine, so I'm going to have to take this off and go extremely carefully with it. Right, don't shake this up too much. But can you see that layer of sediment there? Okay. Well, like I was saying, don't want to shake this up. So, I think we'll need a helping hand from our tea towel. Is I do want as much of this out as possible. Come on, baby, come on. Here we go. We're going to leave it at that. There is still a bit in there, but I just don't want that sediment. Don't want that at all. I mean, look at it. It's it's thick. It's gloopy. That sediment has brought it all down. Uh, sorry, the filings has brought it all down the sediment and kept it all at the bottom. I mean, look at that. We don't want that in our wine, that's for sure. Okay then, so, we've now got all our wine in here. Let's put this on. I'm gonna set the camera up, so you've got a better angle, and we're gonna be putting it in these bottles. Right then, we're all set up with our bottling wand. Let's get the tap on. And there she flows. Now, if you were doing this with one of the little tap ones, you'd fill it up to round about there on the bottle. Because just remember, that cork's got to fit in. But because we're doing it with a bottling wand, we're going to go near enough to the top. Because as RC Raw was explaining to me a few days ago, obviously this disperses the fluid in there. So, let's give it a go. Okay, it's not going to flow too fast because just remember, 
the wine is here in our fermenter so I will be having to tip that a little bit I'm not doing it yet for the first one I'm just uh, doing it so everybody can see it on the video that's why it's flowing quite slowly come on me beauty and it does look nice I do like these green bottles from Wilco they are, they are nice for the money I think they were £4.50 for six and they're all one litre bottles ok we're on the neck so let's go quite slow right so do, do you see what I mean so it's filled it down to there <laughs> ok let's get another one done where's my cider cheers folks And look at the sediment in there. Yeah, good old findings. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then I'll cut it again and get all of these filled up. Then we'll go on to the corking and we'll go on to our labelling. Beep, 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 beep. Nearly done. Lovely, jubbly, so we'll be right back. Right then folks, we've now got all our wine in our bottle, so I think it's time we do a bit of corking. Let's get our brand new corker on the go. We've had our corks in this hot water, so basically all we're going to do is pop it in there, like so. I will be doing a close-up of this in a moment. Position it on our wine bottle and in your pot. Check that out. There we go folks. And lovely job. Look. Sealed it a trick. Now that's lock us up. We're going to now do a close-up so you can see a little better. So, get our corking machine. Cork in the top. Obviously, if you've got a different machine, it'll work a little bit differently. But these are just the basics. Let's move these to one side and put this one there so you can see. We're going to position this straight on the top of the neck of the bottle, push down nice and evenly like so, and there we go. Jobs are good. Lovely jubbler. I'm going to carry on, get all these done up, and then we're going to go for our bottle shrink wrap caps. So we'll be right back. Okay then, so we've now got all our corks in our bottles. I've just turned the kettle on because we're going to use these bottle shrink caps and apparently you use them with steam. So get that open and that's basically what they look like supposed to sit on top of the bottle like so and the steam from a kettle or other appliances it doesn't really matter it's going to shrink wrap this to the bottle what I will do is I'll do one like this from this position then I'm going to do one a little bit closer so you can see it better I'm using a knife to cover the top because I don't want to put my finger there while the steam's going on it Right, let's give this a go. It's working. Mm. 
that is working very nice. Okay, that's our first one done. Let's clean it off because there is a bit of water condensation on there. And that has shrink wrapped that an absolute treat. Look at that. That is perfecto mundo. Yeah, okay. I am impressed. It works. Okay. Grab another one out. Do you know what? Let's get this bag open. If I could get the bloody thing out, yeah. Okay, they might be a little bit crumpled when you take them out. Look, I mean, look how deformed that one is. Don't worry about it. Check this out. Right, I want these in order. Okay. Give it another go. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a close up of these next. Yeah, perfect. That works perfect, that does. Let's clean it off. Okay, not too happy about the bottom bit. Let's give it another blast. See the bottom bits come away from the bottle a little touch. Let's give it another go. And it's brought it in perfectly. That's sound that is. So, it's brought it back perfectly. That's fine that is. Right. We're going in for the close-up now, folks, so you can see it a little bit better. Okay then, so let's get our kettle on. Put that on the top. Shrink it. You've only got to hold that on there to get it started. There we go. And it's looking pretty good. Yep, that is done. Let's have a look what the finish is like. That is, that's a perfect finish that is, look at that. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's do one more up close so you can see it. Now, inside it, it has got like a stainless steel banding for the top. I think that's for when you put the actual corkscrew in there, it stops uh, the paper going in. Alright. So we started off, as soon as it starts shrinking, you can take that knife or whatever you're using to hold it down out of the way. That's out of the way, lovely that is. It's a very simple and easy job, just use your common sense with it because you're dealing with boiling hot steam here. Okay then, yeah, that is sound. Right, I'm going to get the rest of these done and we'll be right back for our labelling. Right then, we've now got all of our shrink wrap tops done on our bottles. We're now going for bit of labelling and I printed these off last night. I have got a couple of water spots on these but these ones are pretty good. We've named this wine Moringa. We've got our Fruity and Bobble logo thing here. Blackcurrant Ribena after dinner wine, 12% volume and we're looking at one litre here. Now if anyone, when I name my beers I go with a certain theme. So. If anyone knows what the theme is, stick it in the comments. Every one of the names of my beers and this wine have all got the same theme. So stick it in the comments if you know what it is. I'm going to cut these up and we're going to get them on our bottles, folks. Right then, folks, we are now ready 
to start our labelling. So let's get our bottle ready, our trusty prick stick. Now I did a video showing how to do this with milk and the milk does work but I found whoops a daisy the prick stick to be a little easier. So let's get that smack bang in the centre. Smooth it down and there we go folks. Let's do another one after I've picked this up of course because I just dropped it on the bloody floor. Now the trick is with this when you've printed them, the labels make sure the work surface or whatever it is that you're using is dry because I'll show you in a second what happens if it's not dry. Right, let's get this in the centre. There we go. Lovely jubbler. Right, if you look at this, can you see right there? That's a little bit of water damage that is. So, I'm going to carry on with this folks and we'll be right back. Okay then, so everything is now done. Our Ribena blackcurrant wine is all bottled up. It's all labelled up. We've got a nice sealed thing on the top. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Plus I've uh, been drinking anyway, so... <laughs> This is going to stay in these bottles now. The first time we'll open it is around Christmas. We've just come into the 1st of September now, so this has been uh, in our demijohn six weeks. We're now going to go for August, September, October, November, December. Just under three months it's going to be in these bottles before we first try it. So, I hope you'll stick with us and stick around for the testing. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Helps out tremendously with getting it shared on uh, YouTube and all that lot. Leave your comments and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can, folks. I've been Double Tap and I'll catch you in the next episode. So, bye for now.